Are you one of the millions of people who at the start of 2022 said to yourself, this is the year I'm getting in shape, only to quickly fall off the wagon when it comes to your health goals? We're being joined by registered nurse and women's weight loss, mindset, and functional nutrition coach, Melissa Ike. She's here to explain why now may be the perfect time to reset those health goals before the holidays begin and the harsh realities of winter set in. I mean, that's already depressing me a little bit. <laughs> I am definitely one of those people always waiting for the perfect time. And I yeah. think of the holiday season as a, as a hard time to start. But yeah. maybe it still is a good time to start. Absolutely. And that's why we see so many people start on like January 1 or 2 is because they have been putting it off for so long. And usually you've gotten yourself into a point where you feel pretty miserable that your only choice at that point is to start making some changes. Um, but what I think is that the best time to start is just the time that you decide. It doesn't need to be perfect in order to start. You just have to start making a better decision with maybe your next meal or maybe the next day. It doesn't have to be like I said, perfect, because what we often think is like, I can't start right now because my kids are in so many activities. Well, your kids are going to be in activities for a, a while now. Right. And we can't keep using that as a reason to not make the next best decision. So in other words, step one is just reconciling yourself with the fact that it's never going to be a perfect time. It's never going to be perfect. never going to be a perfect time. Yeah. And is there some truth to starting during a challenging time and learning to overcome obstacles quicker? A hundred percent. Okay. Um, I often tell clients who are coming to me thinking like, I'm, I'm going to be going on vacation in a few weeks and then I have this and then I have some parties and then I have some weddings and I'm nervous about starting right now. And I say, you know what, this is the best time to start because do you want to learn how to implement a healthy lifestyle when everything is perfect and well controlled and ideal? Or do you want to do it when you have somebody who has your back and can help guide you through this and help learn how to do it when things are a little more chaotic because in all honesty your life is always going to have human circumstances and imperfection to it and if you're learning how to live a healthy lifestyle when things are perfect what are you going to do when life hits the fan and things start to feel out of control you're just going to quit because you have not learned how to implement these healthy lifestyle things when things are not perfect yeah so often you can maybe start off on a good track while things are calm maybe you have a pretty healthy lifestyle for three four weeks and then that vacation that maybe you were dieting for right yeah. comes and all of a sudden everything that you sort of ingrained in yourself is out the window because you're there to enjoy yourself or you did this for the trip or whatever it is and that's not really a long-term solution right and you really want to make that commitment for yourself for the rest of your life and not just a quick little fix Let's talk about some of the steps for success that you could implement that are maybe some of the smaller things, like just, like you say, managing stress or adjusting your focus. Yeah, absolutely. So managing your stress is going to be a, a really big one. Um, when I have clients come on or when I'm just teaching the general public, one of the biggest things that we need to do when we start to implement a healthy lifestyle, what well, often we are focused on is, I just want to see the scale move. I just want to have more energy. Well, in order to have those things happen, we have to be managing our stress. It comes, it starts up here and it's like a big cascade of events. When we're not managing our stress, we are asking our bodies to do what is impossible. We can't lose weight from a place of being in a high stress environment, in a high stress life without putting some impl implementing some stress management tools in there. Um, and so making sure that that is in there so that you can help balance the, the new lifestyle that you're implementing. So talk to me about maybe just setting yourself up for success on one day where you have an event. And I know I'm going to go to the event. I know I'm going to drink a couple glasses of wine. Yeah. I know that then I'm going to have, probably be like, well, I'm hungry and now I have a little less inhibition. So I'm going to eat something that I maybe didn't plan to eat. So talk me through maybe just setting myself up for success that day. Absolutely. So I always tell my clients to um, plan what you're going to have before you go. Well, in the holidays, we don't always know what's going to be there. We can't plan what we're going to have. So our next best option is to plan how do we want to feel when we're at that event. When we think about it ahead of time, we're not thinking, I can't wait to consume all the food, get overly full, and be completely miserable by the time I get home. 
when we're thinking about it ahead of time, we're able to think, I want to be in control when I'm at this event. I want to enjoy my social peers. I want to enjoy my family. We don't necessarily make it about a miserable experience. So when we can think about how do I really want to feel when I'm there around the food, around the people, around how I feel about myself around the food and the people, then we can really start to think consciously when we're making that choice as well. We're there versus just going in, hoping for the best. And we know what happens when we hope for the best. We end up to just be really reactive to the things around us. Hope is not a strategy, they say, right? It isn't. <laughs> it's no. not a good strategy. When you are trying to do something and take smaller steps so that it's manageable and so you can actually ingrain these things, you might not see a lot of movement quickly. Mm -hmm. So if you've already gotten yourself to the place where you feel like, oh, this is just, it's too much, then I really want, I feel like I really want to see fast change. So how do you help somebody see that even if you're to that point where you're really miserable, that even little tiny changes matter? Yeah, look at the long game. Um, and also look at your patterns in your past. How often have you done quick fixes only to do them for a short amount of time, which is what they're meant for, doing them for a short amount of time and then going right back to where you were. Is that what you wanna to continue to do or do you wanna actually make the changes to change your lifestyle, which changes basically the trajectory of your life? Um, and looking at those quick fixes, you have to remember that the quick fix is going to be hard, it's going to be intense, it's going to be for a short time. When weight loss comes off quickly, it often comes back quickly. When weight loss comes off slowly, it tends to stay off. And that's what you really want. We right. wanna look at the long game, look at the big picture, look years out. It's really hard for us to do that when we feel physically miserable in the moment, but look years out. How do you really wanna feel and be living your life in a few years versus in a few weeks? Is there any value to a quick jump start just to feel, feel like you're going somewhere or really do you just wanna stick slow? I think slow. I'm always going to choose slow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you will have longevity when it's a slow. So and steady wins yeah. the race. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. We've got more Kelowin living right after the break. We'll be right back.